uh, out of me, out of my family. Just the worst pain that I've ever imagined in my life. He's taking all these meds and he's no better than he was. Millions of patients with pain have become opioid addicted. We have this idea that when there's pain, there's something wrong with the body. It's not always that simple. And you're seeing there a clip from This Might Hurt, a film that uh, we're going to be talking about this morning, a documentary highlighting people suffering and struggling with chronic pain. And this morning, the director of This Might Hurt, Kent Bassett, joins us alongside the doctor featured in the film and the documentary, Dr. Howard Schubiner. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for being with us to talk about this Thank important you. subject. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I want to start with you, Kent. Uh, you have talked about your uh, chronic pain yourself. What experience have you gone through? How did this film come to be? Yeah, so when I was 22 and in college, um, I developed really debilitating arm pain. And I was um, diagnosed with tendonitis and put on opioids. Um, and it didn't get better. It just got worse and worse. I tried physical therapy. And then one day, I read a book by Dr. John Sarno from New York University. And his theory that anxiety and stress and the brain itself can create physical pain and that by recognizing that process, you can recover really resonated with me. And I had a pretty rapid and dramatic recovery after a year of pain. And Dr. Schubiner, I mean, tell us about how this works. We're a country that typically relies on a lot of pharmaceutical drugs, maybe over relying on those kinds of drugs. What's your experience been like in, in treating chronic pain? Right. Well, we're not saying it's all in people's heads. That's dismissive. That's insulting. Chronic pain is real. It's severe. It's overwhelming. And the modern medical treatment is often ineffective. But there's a new neuroscience of how the brain and pain interact, how the brain and the body interact, as Kent was saying. And what we have now research data showing that we can actually help people reverse their pain rather than simply having to cope with it. So this is really kind of a radical idea, but one that we really need now. And uh, Kent, tell us, you guys are gonna be on The Doctors today. You've got the film uh, release coming, of course, virtual kind of watch parties. What's that information uh, that people should know about kind of getting more information on the film? Yeah, we're really excited to be um, to have Howard featured on The Doctors. They did a, a wonderful seven minute segment and um, the film is going to be um, screened for audience virtually this Sunday with a live Q&A with Dr. Schubiner and me and Mary and my directing partner, as well as another doctor, David Clark. And um, it's really an exciting virtual experience. We recommend people join us. It's at thismighthurtfilm.com. That's thismighthurtfilm.com. And um, you can watch the trailer there and get a sense of what the film's all about. But the film is based on science. It's based on these new studies coming out that Dr. Schubiner was a part of that shows people going, th going through profound, dramatic changes, going from having pain for many, many years to getting better. And in the film, you actually get to witness people with fibromyalgia, people with chronic, um, sorry, uh, complex regional pain syndrome, you know, go through really significant changes. And so we really invite people to come check it out and see for yourself. Even people who are skeptical, it's a, it's a counterintuitive idea. So, you know, we recognize that. Yeah, and I wanna kind of dive into that a little bit more. Dr. Schubiner, I mean, emotional acceptance and expression therapy. I, I, what does that actually entail for uh, those patients? Yeah, what we realize is that the science shows that when someone gets a physical injury, a certain part of their brain lights up. And when they get an emotional injury, the same part of their brain lights up. This is kind of a quirk in how our brains are. And so we we now know that emotions are linked to pain. And a lot of people with pain have underlying emotions that they haven't recognized or dealt with or expressed. And so part of the treatment is recognizing that the pain is actually in the brain, not in your head, they're real, and it's connected to emotions. And so dealing with the emotions and understanding that you're not actually as damaged as you thought you were, that combination can have a powerful impact on literally turning off the pain. All right, pretty incredible stuff there and amazing research that you guys have. More information is on thismighthurtfilm.com. Thank you to both of you very much for being with us this morning. And uh, as you guys mentioned, you can see them on The Doctors as well uh, with that segment uh, going into more detail on this documentary. So that info is also on our website. Netta and Eric, I'll send things back over to you.